Good morning. It is February 22nd, 2022, and we're getting ready to process or butcher out these um, red broiler roosters that we um, processed about three days ago, and they've been um, brining in the cooler on ice, and now today we are going to cut them up and get them ready to can. And then once that's all taken care of, we will be canning them. And I will set the camera up and let, uh, let you see me butchering a couple of these. And then we'll move on to the next step. Okay. All right, we are gonna go ahead and butcher one of these roosters and um, I am going to be taking off the legs, cutting the leg and the uh, thigh apart, and then I will be taking the breast off, and then eventually I'm going to be deboning uh, the breast so that I just have the boneless, skinless breast meat. <coughs> And cleaning these chickens are a process whenever you're butchering them yourself and I just pull just you let gravity pull these bones apart so that I can get in between the bones so I don't have to struggle with it and there's one drumstick and there's one thigh but as I was saying once you butcher your own animals um, you the cleaning process continues pull that back get my knife behind here so you skin them you wash them you, you gut them you wash them you get them out of the ice chest you wash them <laughs> you cut them up you wash them again so these will all be um, gone over and washed really good um, again before I can them because when you're doing this you'll keep seeing connective tissue and a feather here and there that you want to get rid of Get another thigh, another leg. Start working on these wings. There's a wing. There's another wing. Okay. So with this breast, <coughs> I'm just gonna cut right there along the rib cage. And if you turn it over, you can see, hold it up to the light especially, you can see where the rib cage is.
I'm just filleting it off the bone. don't do this every day so I am not perfect at it there's a piece of the bone right there just pull that off that's one side of the breast I have to work on the other side so if this doesn't come out perfect every time you do it or the first time you do it just keep practicing. Just get a, get a sharp knife. That's the most important thing. And when you cut this meat, gravity will just kind of let it fall. So you can just keep flaying it off the bone. Here's another one. And the tender, this tender kind of came loose from that one. No big deal. There's another half, the big tender part of it. And the rest of this carcass, which there's some meat right here, that's going to be the best part of the, the carcass for adding the meat bony flavor in his neck right here to my bra but he's done <coughs> we'll do one more and then I will cut the camera off and finish these up so we'll start with the Sometimes you gotta pull on these bones to get them to separate and just start cutting in there till you can see where it's connecting to. And where the bone is separated. There's another wing. Look him over, and this guy's got a lot of connective tissue that's hanging on. We'll just go ahead and get rid of some of that. Pull him back right here. Wing. I know there's a lot of you out there that are a lot better at this than butchering than I am, but I butchered a lot of rabbits and a lot of chickens and my fair share of turkeys and hundreds of quail, and I get the job done. Here's your leg quarter.
Okay, a couple hours later, we are back and I got five and a half pounds of cubed chicken breast boneless. So this six jar is just, um, well not this one, but one of these over here is just full of the um, boneless skin, or the skinless chicken thighs. So that's 10 pounds of bone legs and thighs, five and a half pounds of cube boneless skinless chicken breasts, three pounds of wings, and I'm about to set these over in my canner. <coughs> I have it on my stove over here. I will turn it on. Everything's cold, so I'll turn it on uh, once I get everything locked down and inside. And then here are all seven carcasses with some celery from the garden. I'm going to throw an onion in here. And this will make, uh, I'll end up making it make about 14 quarts of chicken stock with the carcasses and necks that we had left over. So... Not too bad for seven roosters. We're going to get 14 quarts of stock, three pounds of wings, five and a half uh, pounds of chicken breast, and 10 pounds of um, leg and thigh ugly chicken canned up. And what I put in here was a teaspoon of the minced garlic and then a, a teaspoon of, of onion powder, and then half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and paprika. And I did not add any water to these. I'm just going to can them in their own juices, and I will show you what they look like when they come back out. But that's how they're looking like now. And we got six quarts out of 10 pounds of legs and thighs. Okay, our printer, our pressure canner has come back down off pressure and we let it sit for about 30 minutes after it came off pressure and here's what the chicken is looking like. already starting to sound off you making good yours? yep and my water is actually pretty clear considering we had a bunch of raw packed chicken you can see that the water inside of these jars is pretty dark but all of the water that's in there is the water that uh, it cooked in its own juices so we've got six quart jars of leg and thigh meat from our seven roosters okay well thanks for watching talk to you later